What is up guys, Raf from BNC Camera, and this episode goes out to those who want to photograph their artwork. We understand some artists may need to take photos of their artwork, so we decided to curate some tips and tricks to make your photos stand out. If you are hoping to persuade a gallerist to showcase your art, trying to sell a piece online, or even posting it onto an art blog to show your followers what you've done, you might want some pointers. The first and obvious one is, do you have the right equipment? Almost everyone has a smartphone which provides a good starting resource. These new phones have some capabilities with professional features. However, a professional camera will always offer you better results. If you decide to use a simple point and shoot camera, make sure it has the capabilities of some basic settings like white balance, f-stop, ISO, at least 20 megapixels, and a flash. Here are some other options to consider as well. Can you shoot in RAW? Do you have access to a tripod? The tripod will allow you to steady your shot. Do some research on white balance. You want to make sure you have the best settings. This will all depend on the natural lighting you are working with. Is it during the day? Cloudy? How about during overcast? All of that matters for the white balance. Check your aperture or f-stop. These should usually be set to landscape setting or about f8. And as one last thing, make sure the ISO is set to about 100 so you can keep the photo's integrity. The next major tip, scene is everything. First off, make sure your background isn't too busy and more eye-catching than the art itself. Try using a solid color as your background. Using white will make the editing process smoother, but a neutral color will also work. Positioning your artwork is just as important as having the correct equipment. It may even be the most crucial part of the process. Depending on the size of the artwork, you might be able to hang it on a wall and snap a photo of it directly in front, head on. However, life isn't always that easy. There's a chance you may be able to place your artwork on the floor and try different angles to capture the perfect light. Perfect lighting is crucial for all photographs, no matter what you're trying to photograph. You want a nice balance of light, not too bright, not too dark. If shooting outdoors, an overcast usually provides the perfect lighting condition. When indoors, you need a good filtered light. If you want to be in control, you can always purchase a lighting kit. After you've snapped and got some really nice photos, it's time to save and edit. Now that the hard part is over, the following steps should be easy. Always, always, always look on a large screen. Once you have the photos pulled up, you will choose which photos came out the best. Once saved, the editing will begin. Whether Mac or PC, both systems provide really simple editing software. We suggest purchasing Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop, or Capture One. These programs offer way more features than the standard editing programs. You can do all sorts of things during the editing process, but remember, the goal is to preserve the art you had worked on and have it represented in its purest form. You may need to crop your artwork to remove any blank space in the actual photo. Depending on all the sources you will be sharing with this photograph, you may need to crop and resize with various sizes. Some social media sites can be picky with the photos you upload and want specific dimensions and pixels. We suggest looking up the recommended size for whichever area you upload to. The dots per inch, or DPI, is something you also want to pay attention to. If the DPI is high, photos can take a long time to load. The standard DPI is about 72 for websites and social media. Now, you want to know your artwork is perfectly conveyed through a photo. A quick tip is to hold your art next to a computer screen and see if the colors match. Especially look at the whites and blacks. If the colors don't match, you can easily play around with the exposure and saturation through photo editing software. And that's all the essential tips you'll need to snap a perfect photo of your masterpiece. Photography can get complex, and we know there are so many different things going on in the professional photography world. These guidelines should help as a starting point. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Again, if you've enjoyed the video and find it useful, a like, share, or subscribe will also help us out as well too. And once again, this is Raf from BNC Camera. Until the next video.